All right, 2014 Mr. Olympia, 50th anniversary. Athletes meeting, I'm standing here next to the, not once or twice, the three-time Mr. Olympia, Phil the Gift Heath. Phil, I don't need to give you no props no more. I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. You are got goosebumps. What I want to tell you is, as a three-time defending champion, what mindset, I mean, Everybody knows what you had to go through last year preparing for the show. Mm -hmm. I mean, with your wife, cancer survivor, in and in and in. That must have been the hardest prep ever. So now, going into this prep, what was different for Phil? Because you feel a little more relaxed. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I truly believe that cream rises to the top. I mean, you know, given this opportunity, being Mr. Olympia at the 50th anniversary, is obviously quite the honor, but more or less the challenge. And you know, I know a lot of challengers are there, and I'm very, very motivated. Um, obviously, after last year, I mean, we went through hell as a family. But you know, this year, you know, was a little tough as well. You know, I lost my father in, in March, so that really sucked. And, and uh, you know, to you know, go through that, but also to have him in spirit it has probably uh, been my saving grace. Obviously, uh, getting ready for the show. You know, you go through ups and downs. And uh, life is not perfect for, for me. Um, but to know that, uh, you know, I got an angel up there, and I'm, I'm very, very motivated. I'm very, very excited to represent my family on this one and uh, dedicate this one to my uh, late father, Don Heath. So, you know, with that said, I mean, I'm just, you know, very excited. I mean, what about the pressure? Now, the first, you win the first Olympia, that's good. Now you win the second one. Now the third one came in with way more pressure last year because of all the drama you had to go through. Now, what does the pressure do to you this year? Is it more? Is it easier? What, how, what does it feel like? I mean, really, it's what the fans want to make it. Uh, essentially, it's what they want to make it. For me, it's just a, a day. Every day, a day of hard work, a day of dedication, a day of being motivated uh, by you know the, the circumstances that I live through each and every day knowing that each day is a, a day for opportunity and a day for greatness. And, you know, yeah, I mean, the first year was hard. You know, second year was really tough. You know, third year was, man, you know, I mean, it was crazy. And then this year, you know, I had a lot of things happen. But I have to remind myself, Phil, you went through all these battles, man. And not that you become lazy or you just rest on your laurels and stuff. You realize that there's some guys here that are awesome that really want well, what you have. Yeah, but, but let's be honest. For me to stress more is, is is a sign of fear. I mean, I don't fear anybody. So if anything, it holds me more accountable. It, it holds me more accountable to get those meals in, to get that rest in, to, to cross all the T's, dot all the I's, and make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of my business each and every day. But more importantly, this one, I'm going to have fun. When I was training for this one, man, I mean, to know that, like, you know, look back and the, the life that I've had, man, it sucks sometimes, man. But you know what? You know, not to compare myself to any type of soldier out there in the military or anything, but people get stripes for things that they've gone through. People earn those medals because they went through something and they rose above it. They show courage, bravery, and this and that. I am not a soldier, but what I am trying to draw a parallel to is I am not going to win this without going through something and seeing what I'm made of in here. See, in here, I can do it. I've proven that. It's here and in here. So I know I got the heart. So I just had to put it all together. And, you know, with, you know, having a great support system, you know, my family's been great. You know, I got great, you know, my trainer and I, you know, Hani Rambot, you know, we have a great relationship. And, you know, obviously, you know, just the fans, man. I mean, whether you love me or hate me, man, it's been, it's been a great journey. I'm pumped, man. I'm just ready to, you know, get back on the grind. You know, get these meals in, get some rest in, and uh, show everybody what I'm talking about. Does the possibility of losing the title ever cross your mind? Uh, I mean, of course. I mean, sometimes that you need that just to drive you harder when you're, you know, uh, hearing how great you are. I, I think that's the cool thing about the internet is that you hear how great you are for like five seconds, and then for the next hour you hear how bad you are. <laughs> What's worse, training to win or training not to lose? See. 
that in itself, I've been very accustomed to while playing basketball. Is that we, it's called a tight sneaker syndrome, where you're you're just you're just trying to, you know, play not to lose. Well, you usually make a mistake when you do that. Um, you cannot play any type of game thinking that you're going to lose. Do you go to a job not to expect to get it? Yeah, you know there's a possibility that reality may set in and you don't get the job. But if you prepare yourself, you will separate yourself from everybody else. So I've done the work. And I know that if I could be better than I was last year, earning a perfect score once again, you know, doing, what, one, two call-outs, if I can work hard every day and, be, and best that person, doesn't that put me in the best position to win? And I think I've done that. So you're saying Phil right now, Wednesday night, is better than Phil Wednesday night last year? Oh, yeah. I mean, and the, and the problem is, I mean, he's smiling and stuff. And, and a lot of people like yeah, to hear Yeah, that. because, I mean, here, here's, a, here's the issue, guys. I'm going to tell you guys something. <laughs> when you guys see a person like me and, and you may, you know, judge and this and that, just think of yourself in a situation. If you're trying to be the best at something and you have been the best at something, I'm not saying these guys suck. I'm proving that I've been better. And I'm having fun, focusing on me, and doing my due diligence each and every day. Why should, why should I have to apologize for trying to be the best I can be? So I'm enjoying this because I know that at this point in time in my life, no matter what happens, I'm still Mr. Olympia. So I'm always going to carry myself as such. And it's not an arrogant or cocky attitude. That would be like me saying, man, these guys suck. I'm about to rip their throat out. I'm about to do this and that. What's funny is, is that if you're the underdog, trying to rise up you can talk all the trash you want to me but if i were to do it to you it's kind of like we know what well, you, you say well, people say he's a champ why should yeah, he worry about something? But, but the thing about it is yes i am and that's why i'm having fun and i'm making it fun for myself because imprisonment is the enemy when you are sticking yourself in that dungeon and you, you got a frown on your face all the time and you're frowning when you're eating and you're frowning i mean how many guys you guys see getting ready for shows and they just pissed off at everything <laughs> then that, that means you don't like it you know, at some point in time, you have to accept that pain. You have to accept that sacrifice. You have to accept it, man. I've accepted this stuff my whole life, and I just try to make it look easy. But I know it's hard. You know it's hard. Oh, yeah. You know, so professionals, that's what we do. We do it with a smile on our face. But let's, be, let's, let's note this. I mean, I am not taking any of these guys lightly. I know what they bring. I'm not dumb. <laughs> well, this is what keeps you motivated. Yeah. You know, on the day after you. Yeah, but you should, I mean, but why should I? You know, not greet it and understand, Phil, you've been here before. Don't act like you have not beat these guys before. They're going to be better, and, and you're going to accept the challenge, and we're going to see on Saturday, Friday and Saturday, who is the champ. Well, you heard it here first. A confident Phil Heath. A better Phil Heath. Not an angry Phil Heath this year, and more relaxed Phil Heath, and that's why I'm going to let you go. For Phil Heath, the three-time Mr. Olympia, I'm Dennis James for FlexOnline.com.